Look at all the cruise ships. I mean, there's only two, but there's that one over there sailing in, which is a carnival. And there's a carnival over there. In the Belizean coast, I believe. They're all along there. So this is the view from the other side. I'm not entirely sure where we're docking or what exactly is Belize, but I wonder if you could see there's like mountains off in the distance, kind of covered by the clouds, but you can see like the dark outline of them. It's so beautiful. So we've made it to Belize and we're doing cave tubing with um, butts up. complimentary with the tour but the kitten oh my god I'm dying I'm so happy some chicken and fish and then just some like stir fry veggies, cheese and bread. <laughs> So this is breakfast this morning and we are currently at Doc and Cosmos. So this is our view. So I'm just going to enjoy my book and my coffee. I got a vanilla latte from Cafe Promenade and I'm just enjoying my morning. We're currently docked in Cozumel. Um, that's what you saw me recording of the port earlier. Um, and we don't really have anything planned for today. We're just kind of going to get off and walk around the port a little bit and we might take a taxi into downtown and check out downtown Cozumel just because we have not gotten to experience that yet and I know there's some good restaurants down there but it's just a matter of what we feel like doing. Yeah, I think we're just gonna try and basically find some good authentic Mexican food or something and just enjoy our time in port. Um, this is our second time in Cosmo so we're just gonna spend a little time in port and then we're gonna come back to the ship a little earlier so that we can enjoy more of the ship before our vacation comes to an end because unfortunately we just have today and then tomorrow's a full sea day and then we are back in Texas which means we have to go home. So with that being said we're gonna gather all of our things 
we're going to gather all of our things and head off the ship. Beautiful day in Cozumel. So we are in the port and they still have a Christmas tree up. It's so beautiful. Christmas. We are officially downtown. Ah! Look at The horses are so nice. to it the thirsty cougar and this is our view the water is right over there and then this is our table I've heard amazing things about this place so I'm so excited I'm so hungry I'm not even hungry I'm just like excited <laughs> okay so we got guac to start so we're gonna mix it all together and eat it it's gonna be so good oh my god this is huge oh my god how am I gonna even finish that and yours is pretty big too, like the size of my hand. So nice. Oh my gosh. Yum. Whatever this stuff is, it's so good. I like, need to get myself a bottle. Oh my gosh, yum. Put a little in the block. Maybe we can find some in the stores. Take it home. So here are my shrimp tacos and all of the fixins. And then John got a blackened chicken burrito. And he also got a mango margarita, one of these, so we'll see how it is. back in our room um, after dinner and <laughs> our stateroom attendant left us a monkey I love him he's literally hanging who's chilling oh my gosh wait let's turn the light on so they can see it better because you can't really see him there we go there he is and I love that he has little eyes and look at his mouth he's like oh ah, ah. he's <laughs> so cute and his little legs all folded I love it. <laughs> and the <laughs> and the bed's made all nice. John don't lay on it. And then this is the saddest freaking thing ever. It's all of our debarkation information. And tomorrow is the last final day at sea. And then we're home. Well, then we're back in Texas, then we gotta fly home. Just throw it out. It won't matter then. Oh. Future self, remember, lavender martini is the bomb.com. So John got the spiced runner as his drink for dinner tonight and it literally is so good. It tastes like yogurt. Oh my god, it is so amazing. And we're trying to figure out like what's in it. So we got the we asked for the drink menu so we can see like what's in it. So we're gonna check and see. It's so good. This is it, spiced runner. All right, so this is dinner. I got a steak, and then I also got the tiger shrimp. Looks so good. Yum. We have cheesecake and tres leches for dessert. Our last dessert in the dining room. We are on deck 11, and that is crazy. We are up so high. It's Saturday. And it's our last day, and here's the view again, except just in the elevator. And we are going down. I have my ice cream, which I'm pretty much done with. It's just strawberry. We just got some of the hot tubs. There's some oh, now. Okay, our deck. All right, guys, it is officially the last lavender martini, if it would focus. It's just focusing on me in the mirror. Of course it is. Focus, 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 focus. Last lavender martini of the cruise. <sighs> I brought it back to the room to enjoy it because it's getting late and I still have to finish packing my suitcase. Um, we started earlier. Cheers to an amazing cruise. I honestly cannot believe that it's the end. Like, it's crazy to me that seven days has gone by. Um, I feel like we just got on this boat like two days ago like it really feels like it's maybe been two days 
um i definitely just feel like it's been seven but it's been fun and it's been an adventure for sure um we had so much fun in port i did so many new things and i'm coming home with so many amazing memories i have to sneeze As I was saying, um, I'm going home with so many amazing memories and new experiences to share and so many amazing pictures and video that I have and can put together um, for you guys and for myself to show everybody and have as a memory to look back on. Um, and also too, just the excitement of like booking the next cruise because like I was telling John earlier, like I feel like a lot of the fun of cruising for me personally is planning it all out and like the anticipation of it like I just love searching through cruises and picking one and 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 booking it and knowing like that's in my schedule for the future and being able to look forward to that and being able to you know go online and research tips and tricks and um, things to do while in port just being able to have that to look forward to um, is just so much fun and I just love cruising so much um, so when we get home we're going to uh, look up some cruises and see about going on another one John wants to take his mom and his sister on a cruise so um, we are going to look into that I know I definitely want to try carnival next um, not that Royal Caribbean is not amazing because it's been amazing to us the past two times that we've sailed with them. But I'm always open for new experiences and trying something new. And um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just rambling on basically the rest of the night. I'm just gonna finish packing my bags. I don't know if I'm gonna hop in the shower or not, if I'm feeling up to it, but um, finish off my martini and Put my luggage outside and in the morning get everything together clear the room out and head to the airport and that's the end of our vacation so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed these cruise vlogs um and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye guys